Hey man, you can know you watch. Dance out! Let's go with the shoes. You want to shine off? Why? You can't see your face. Come like you want to clean off. Because I'm not seeing my face straight again. Like something I want to come on it, you know? Like me, you can't do something. You understand? Yeah, it's a good look. You understand? No star people see me. So this is standard. This is even no color color. You know nobody. Forty four feet. I'm a full grown cock. So okay, continue go. Okay, okay. I mean, I grab it down and pat a skeng there. I want a video shoot. Swamp, swamp, swamp. All right, color color. Big up yourself, color color. Mm hmm. Viewers and subscribers, I just presented to you a video that shows a well-known dancer within the country of Jamaica who goes by the name of Color Color. Some persons on social media might also call him Color Color. You see? Yeah, um, big him up, all right? Now, big up and respect to each and every one. My name is Dan Salskill. I'm there here again, you see? Yeah, I want to talk to you about a few things that have been talked about on social media. The first thing I want to talk to you about is about a song that is known as Jerusalem. Now, I read a news article where it is said that uh, a female artist who goes by the name of Nomsibo Zikode claimed that uh, she did not get any money for that song. Namsibo Sikode is the female artist who you can hear singing in that song. That song really and truly circulate the world, play all over the world. That song that entertained me and many people throughout the world throughout the COVID-19 pandemic in you know, subscribers up till this day. I like that song there. Well, I love the song. See? So, I read a news article where they said that Namsibo Sikode said that she did not get any money for the song. So, when I look at those words, I said to myself, when she says she's not getting no money for the song, I'm wondering if she's talking about uh, getting paid from the record label for the song or overall performance and everything for the song. That's what I wonder. Anyways, so I read some more and I get the understanding that uh, the female artist went on social media and uh, talked about uh, the situation where she claimed that she don't get any money for the song. And um, she threatened to take legal actions. The main artist on that song who goes by the name of Master KG, yeah, because Master KG is the main artist on that song in the viewers and subscribers. Nam C. Bozikode is the featured artist on that song, is it? Anyways, according to the news article, it is said that Master KG tweeted claiming that him and Nomsibos Zekode was supposed to split Master KG's earnings for the Jerusalem song 50-50. According to the news article, it is said that Master KG tweeted claiming that Nomsibos Zekode wanted 70% of the earnings for that song and Master KG should keep 30%. In my point of view, I think that Master KG think that was unfair. See? Anyways, I soon let you know what I think about that. According to the news article again, it is said that the record label for that song had signed another female artist to replace Nomsiba Zikode for the Jerusalem World Tour. That body, according to the news article, the news article said that whosoever represented the record label said that uh, the original agreement, real and truly, was that uh, both Master KG and Numsiba Zikwadi was going to split Master KG's earnings for that song 50 50. It is said that a contract had been drafted from November last year, that would be the year 2020, for both artists to sign so that uh, they can get paid for the song that is known as Jerusalem 50-50. However, it is said that Zikode, through her legal team, reviewed the contract and proposed for a higher percentage. So because she did not sign the contract, both artists did not get paid for the song that is known as Jerusalem. My people, such a beautiful song should never reach in such a situation. I love that song. The song, in my point of view, is like a Christian song. 
it's like a song where the whole world can gravitate to both dance hall and uh, both in the church and all these things that's how me look on it is it so the best thing i think is that the money for the song should be split 50 50. nobody not supposed to get more than the other that's my opinions and point of view when it comes down to the payment for that song and i real see me not nothing wrong with 50 50 my people yeah so me just i make a know about that because when me really and truly get the understanding say something like that i go on me can't believe it because that song that one song when i look up to me look on a song there and say yo that song there is a real song where every single body in the world can really and truly gravitate to you don't have to be a christian to love the song and you know what i mean yeah, no. anyways let me know what to think about uh, some of the things that i just told you that i read in a news article about that song see yeah it is said that uh, the female artist and that song who goes by the name of nom c buzzy Cody claim that she don't get any money for the song that is known as Jerusalem. all right so i'm gonna move on to a video now i have a video i'm going to present to you my viewers and subscribers you know this video i recorded within the country that is known as jamaica i do not know when the video i recorded but uh, this video shows a man with a machete chasing a man and it would seem as if uh, the man was trying to hurt the man with the machete at the time see now many comments have been made about this video on social media and that's one of the reasons why I may present this video to you my viewers and subscribers because of the comments that have been made on social media, you see me? Yeah, so I want to take a look at this video and tell me what you think. I want to tell me if you think the person was trying to hurt the person with the machete or not. You can tell me if you think they were playing or what, you see me I said to you? You can also tell me if you think this video is a publicity stunt, you know? Yeah, you know, because I would feel much better to know so that this whole thing is a publicity stunt than to know that someone is trying to hurt someone for real. You see what I say? And even if it's a publicity stunt, that is still a big risk, you know, to be chasing someone with a machete in the public. Eh? Anyways, um, let me know what I think about this video. Now, some of the scenes in this video might not be suitable for everyone. Viewer discretion is advised. Here's the video. Take a look, listen, and observe. Oh, Watch out, watch out. Oh, oh, yeah, don't chop money in there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, do. Yeah, yeah. Come on, Yeah, we are Indian. But people, I only hope say that uh, that man don't hurt that man, you know. I only hope say none of them don't hurt them one there, see me? But no, say I have people who play rough and all these things, but I'm not sure if I play them, I play. When we look at how some things happen in that video, I don't know if I play them, I play. So I only hope say none of them don't hurt them one there, see? Anyways, I'm going to move on to another video. One more video I'm going to present to you. This video is going to show a person who said some things that gave me the understanding that uh, he said that he goes by the name of uh, Silverman or Metal Man. Yes, I said to you, viewers and subscribers, why don't take a look at this video and tell me what you think about some of the things that have been shown and said in this video. All right? Here's the video. Take a look, listen, and observe. Yeah, man. I'm me, man. Take Scotch Perry, man, as a road model, man. I'm me, name Silverman, man. Metal man and silver yeah. man and me. So I come to face the world now, really. Because what happened me out there, I know. Okay. So even through my African powers, I know that. So I have that dimension to reach. Right, so I feel now where my youth just make it get viral and make them know say, me die at the weight pan them busting. Alright. Uh, man, the iron balloon, you know, we go bust out. My people, remember back in the days when time you used to have your wall of wires in the ear and try to pick up television station you know yeah me turn my body in somewhat of an antenna along with the wires you know yes i said to you yeah i saw me see it yes i said some of the times me hold up so much wires in the ear it come like me i pick up a cable <laughs> anyways um you know and i really don't people like one person never said wear so much metals before and one person when you scratch lead perry you see me you know 
when I really think about it though, I wonder if it is safe to wear a lot of metals during thunderstorms, you know, with the whole lightning and them things there. So I mean I say, well, me only wish the best for each and every one, you know. Well, I wish the best for each and every one. You see what I say? I wish the best for each and every one. That's how I should say it. You know, sometimes, you know, pronunciations kind of get me. You see? Nobody's perfect. All right. So here's where I'm going to leave it. So until the next time, if you're new to my channel, don't be afraid to click the subscribe button and click the notification bell so that you can be notified whenever I post a video. You can let me know what you think about the videos that I presented to you. And you can also let me know what you think about the whole thing that I talked to you about, about some things that I read in a news article about the Jerusalem song and those artists for that song. Alright? Until the next time, my name is Dancer Skiller. I'm not big up on yourself. You see it? Hey, my youth, you know where you watch? Dancer Skiller! Hear me now? Hey, yo, Skiller! You are watching Dancer Skiller. Tint. Dance